in Psalm. It is September the 12th, 2019. I am Mighty Zero Gray Bay, Hebrew Muslim Morse descent. It is approximately 9.09 p.m. And I am re reading now chapter 76 or 076, The Man of the Holy Quran of Mecca. Section 1 Attainment of Perfection. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, sure there came over man a time when he was nothing that could be mentioned. Surely we have created man from sperm mixed with ovum to try him, so we have made him hearing, seeing. We have truly shown him the way. He may be thankful or unthankful. Surely we have prepared for disbelievers chains and shackles and a burning fire. The righteous truly drink of a cup tempered with camphor, a fountain from which the servants of Allah drink, making it flow in abundance. They fulfill vows and fear a day, the evil of which is widespread. And they give food out of love for him. To the poor and the orphan and the captive, we feed you for Allah's pleasure only who desire from you neither reward nor thanks. Surely we fear from our Lord a stern, distressful day. So Allah will ward off from them the evil of that day and cause them to meet with splendor and happiness and reward them with their steadfastness, with a garden and with silk. Reclining therein on raised couches, they will see therein neither excessive heat of sun nor intense cold, and close down upon them are its shadows, and its fruits are made near to them, easy to reach, and round about them are made to go vessels of silver and goblets of glass, crystal clear, made of silver, they have measured them according to a measure, and they are made to drink there, in a cup tempered with ginger, of a fountain therein called Sasobil. And around about them will go youths, never altering in age. When thou seest them, thou wilt think them to be scattered pearls. And when thou lookest thither, thou seest blessings and great kingdom, and the great kingdom. And them are garments of fine green silk and thick brocade. And they are or adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord makes them to drink a pure drink. Surely this is a reward for you, and your striving is recompense. Section 2. Another generation will be raised up. Surely we have revealed the Quran to thee in portions. So wait patiently for the judgment of thy Lord, and obey not a sinner or an or an ungrateful one among them, and glorify the name of thy Lord morning and evening, and during part of the night adore him, and glorify him throughout a long night. And surely these love the transitory life, and neglect a grievous day before them. We created them, and made firm their make, and when we, and when we will, we can bring in their place the like of them by change. Surely this is a reminder. So whoever will, let him take away to his Lord. And you will not, unless Allah please. Surely Allah is ever knowing, wise. He admits whom he pleases to his mercy. And the wrongdoers, he has prepared for them a painful chastisement. So that was chapter 76. Now I'm going to read chapter 75, The Resurrection, section 1, The Truth of the Resurrection, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, nay, I swear by, I affirm by the day of resurrection, nay, I affirm by the self-accusing spirit, does man think that we shall not gather his bones? 
Yeah, we are all powerful to make complete his whole make. Nay, man desires to go on doing evil in front of him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? So when the sight is confused, and the moon becomes dark, and the sun and the moon are brought together, man will say on that day, whether to flee? No, there is no refuge. There is no refuge. With thy Lord on that day is a place of rest. Man will that day be informed of what he sent before and what he put off. Nay, man is evidence against himself. Though he put up excuses, move not thy tongue therewith to make haste with it. Surely on us rests the collecting of it and the reciting of it. So when we recite it, follow its re recitation. Again on us rests the expl explaining of it. Nay, but you love the present life and neglect the hereafter. Some faces that day will be bright, looking to their Lord, and other faces that day will be gloomy, knowing that a great disaster will be made to befall them. Nay, when it comes up to the throne, and it is said, who will ascend with it? And he is sure that it is the parting, and affliction is combined with affliction, to thy Lord on that day, is the driving. Section 2. The dead rise. So he accepted not the truth, nor prayed, but denied and turned back. Then he went to his people in haughtiness, nearer to thee and nearer. Again, nearer to thee and nearer as well. Does man think that he will be left aimless? Was he not a small life germ? and sperm emitted. Then he was a clot, so he created him and made him perfect. Then he made of him two kinds, the male and the female. Is not he powerful to give life to the dead? This song, that was chapter 75, The Resurrection. Lastly, I'll be reading chapter 74. Uh, chapter 74. The One Wrapping Himself. Section 1. The Prophet is enjoined to warn. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. O thou who wrappest thyself up, arise and warn. And thy Lord do magnify, and thy garments do purify. And unclean and uncleanness do shun, and do not favor seeking gain. And for the sake of thy Lord be patient. For when the trumpet is sounded, that will be that day a difficult day, for the disbelievers anything but easy. Leave me alone with him whom I created, and gave him vast riches and sons dwelling in his presence, and made matters easy for him. And yet he desires that I should give more. By no means, surely, he is inimical to our messages. I will make a distressing punishment overtake him. Surely he reflected and determined, but may he be destroyed how he determined. Again, may he be destroyed how he determined. Then he looked, then frowned and scowled, then turned back and was big with pride, then said, This is not but magic from, an, from of old. This is not but the word of a mortal. I will cast him into hell, and what will make thee realize what hell is. It leaves, it leaves not, and spares not, and scorches the mortal over it in nineteen. That was an old one. And we have made none but angels, warden of the fire. And we have not made their number but as a trial for those who disbelieve, that those who have been given the book may be certain, and those who believe may increase in faith, and those who have been given the book and the believers may not doubt, and that those in whose hearts 
is a disease. And the, and the disbelievers may say, What does Allah mean by this parable? Thus Allah leaves in error whom he pleases, and guides whom he pleases. And none knows the hosts of thy Lord but he. And this is not but a reminder to mortals. Section 2. The Warning Nay, by the moon, and the night when it departs, and the dawn when it shines, surely it is one of the gravest misfortunes, a warning to mortals, to him among you who will go forward or will remain behind. Every soul is held in, is held in pledge for what it earns, except the people of the right hand and the gardens they ask one another about the guilty. What has brought you into hell? They will say, We were not of those who prayed, nor did we feed the poor, and we indulge in vain talk for the vain talkers. And we called the day of judgment a lie, till the inevitable overtook us. So the intercession of, intercess of intercessors will not avail them. What is then the matter with them, that they turn away from the reminder? As if they were frightened asses fleeing from a lion. Nay, every one of them desires that he should be given pages spread out. By no means, well, by no means, but they fear not the hereafter. Nay, it is surely a reminder. So whoever pleases may mind it. And they will know, and they will not mind unless Allah please. He is worthy that duty should be kept to him and worthy to forgive. Islam, that was chapter 6, Surah 76, 75, and 74. I am Isabel Great Bay, Hugh Monson Morris Descent. And, and it's now 9 21 p.m. on September 12th. Islam.